Hey everyone! So for me, as an American, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. This year, my husband and I are going to host our Friendsgiving. We do it every year, but usually it's at other people's houses because last year we were living in like the tiniest little house. We couldn't even entertain the idea of entertaining in that space because it was so tiny. But now, our living room kitchen area is like perfect for entertaining and our backyard is great. So we wanted to host it this year. Part of that is having the appropriate decorations for it. One of the things that I wanted was a nice like long like candle holder for our dining room table. But yeah, I'm gonna make that this year. Actually, I'm gonna make two of them. So I have one for our table and then one for if we end up having to bring a table in for everybody. So yeah, I'm going to make that and I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. So let's get started. You'll need a two foot long piece of two by four, a drill with a one and one half inch spade bit. You could also use a Forstner bit if you want a cleaner look, a hammer and other various things for distressing the wood, sandpaper, stain and finish, a rag, gloves, and tea lights. So since it was pretty nice outside, I decided to film this whole project outside. But I failed to adjust my camera settings, so apologies if the video gets kind of dark as the sun starts to set. I'll try to adjust it in post, so hopefully it's not too bad. Anyway, to start, mark the very middle of the wood, and then from that point, mark 4 inches out on either side, and then again, mark 4 inches from that. In total, there should be five marks. To help you drill down just the right amount, you can stick a piece of tape on the bit to mark how tall the tea lights are. My bit had this blue coloring on it, which was just the right height, about half an inch, so I decided to use that as a visual instead of taping the bit. Then simply drill at each mark. Spade bits can make a pretty rough hole, which is fine for the look that I'm going for, more of a rustic look. But if you want something that's not as rustic looking, use a Forstner bit instead. They take a little longer to drill the hole, but the result is much cleaner. The only downside is that they're quite a bit more expensive than a spade bit. So now, if you're into this look, it's time to add some rustic charm. Use a hammer and just kind of go at it. I had an array of hammers to work with, and each of them made their own special mark on the wood. I also played around with laying a screw down and hitting the teeth of the screw, which ends up making a pretty neat looking lined mark. I've also used chain when doing this technique when I made a bath shelf a while back. I actually wanted to do that for this one too, but I couldn't find that chain. It must have gotten lost in the move a few months back. Once you're happy with the level of distressing, then sand the wood. I'm using an orbital sander, which is ideal, but you could definitely hand sand this if you need it. And actually, I had to go back and hand sand the edges of the holes since they're so small, the orbital sander obviously couldn't fit in them. And then since I use a spade bit, they're pretty rough looking, so just sanding over them a little bit helps make it look a little nicer. And now, finish the wood however you'd like. I used a darker stain, and then I had intentions of spraying them with this satin clear acrylic finish. Here's where the sun started to set and the footage gets super dark. It's kind of annoying because the settings that I had looked just fine when the sun was totally up, but once it started to set, it got super dark on video. But like, in real life, I could see just fine, which is why I didn't even think about checking the viewfinder of the camera. When I was almost done staining these things, I looked up and saw that my viewfinder was completely dark. Which is when I finally went to change the settings. So once your candle holders are all stained, let them dry overnight. Depending on the humidity and the temperature, you might need to let them dry a little bit longer. These ones were taking a little while to dry for me because I live where the humidity is always really high and also we got hit by a cold front so the temperatures are pretty low which makes curing and drying times take longer so overnight wasn't quite long enough for me which kind of sucked but yeah once that's all dry then finish as desired 
My plan was to use that spray sealer, but Mother Nature had other plans. It didn't seem like the weather was going to cooperate with me in time to spray finish them and then let them dry and then cure the appropriate amount of time before then going in and doing the finish shots and then ultimately using them for our Friendsgiving this weekend. So I made the call to just not finish them. At least not yet anyway. I will eventually, but since they're just centerpieces and aren't going to be handled a bunch, or at all really, I figured I could get away with not finishing them for at least one use. But yeah, here's the candle holder, all finished. Well, almost all finished. The trees will bloom and ice will melt. We'll always remember how we felt. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a pretty easy project, but it ends up looking really nice. If you did like it, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. You can follow me on all of my social media, which will be linked down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you like my videos and have learned something from them, please consider supporting me on Patreon to help me continue to make them. It's totally optional, I'll still be making videos either way, it just helps me be able to put out better stuff. A link will be down below, or you can just click up here in the corner.